Hello and welcome back to casting another Counter Strike for Friends. And all of the friends, Frodo, T Baggins, Big Papa, anyone, Thwomp, and Smurf are starting over on T side. This is a 64 tick matchmaking game on Anubis. The CTs are unknown to us and it's always good fun to watch back the games. Those bittersweet defeats as well as those victories. See who was playing Rubish, see who was playing well, and always good learning. Now we're seeing this bomb move four players over towards this A bomb site. Smurf will be taking this fight in towards mid just as a bit of distraction at the start of the round. We'll be getting an instant dink on towards Takomo Nakama. Now Big Papa spearhead leading this charge. He needs to check the close corner with a light and fast check. That's going to be flame removed. Smurf goes over in towards heaven. Smurf is going to be able to find Trayvon towards mid and now Frodo T-Baggins can be escorted by the twins. Marched on towards his bomb site. Three versus five already. Blackbird has to retake him from the rear. He's going to be able to find Big Papa. Frodo T-Baggins will find Karand. Now things slow down as it's a two versus four retake on towards this. A bomb site. Blackbird. He's got Fop here on towards the left. Smurf finishes what he started on towards the Komen a Kappa and pressed up against the temple. The side of the head is going to be Thwomp. Clear plan in mind. Four players move in towards A main. Nice and easy. Snakey, snakey. Man Van goes in and we had Smurf here. And his role was just to try and punch in through mid, which he did exceptionally well. And he cuts off this as a rotate by hanging around in mid here and stopping anyone from coming in here. He just cuts off that rotate. Now we're going to be seeing a fan out, a default likely from this T side, as they do fan out across this map. Anyone will be tasked with holding outside B. Great grenade. It's going to do Omen and Kappa 51 damage before he even sees anyone this round. Smurf now pressing on with the AK and he's ready for the trade swing from Takoma and Kappa. Anyone will be able to find Flame in towards B-Mate. And a lack of head armor is going to lose a Galil over towards B-Mate. Smurf carries on this aggression with the pre-fire on towards Treyware. That's the back of B-Site opened up and Papa can just sit patiently. He's cutting off the mid-rotate and in comes Karant. And patience and precision for Papa. The second round is comfortably asserted on towards the board by the friends. Same again, Papa doing what Smurf did. You're going to see Papa and Smurf are going to be the two players playing mid, and their job is to try and push in as much as they can. One to open up a second route in towards the A bomb site as Frodo and Thwomp push in, and two to just hold this area here and stop this being a route in for CTs to retake. And Papa did it well that round, Smurf did it well the round before. Fast utility. Always on Anubis, you're going to be seeing a huge utility in the free fire exchange through these smokes and towards top mid. Anyone lining up the smoke towards the obelisk? Oh, Karan steps right. That's a huge mistake from Karan. He would have felt they can't and got the bomb carry at that point as well. Papa being challenged with the grenade and the free fire through the smoke. It's going to cost him 98 points of health in the standard exchange now. Well, Looking to lean over to where this bomb is. He's going to flash underneath. Frodo is here as well. It is going to be B-side that is under pressure. It's going to be Blackbird on towards this back platform. Anyone wants to push in with the support from Frodo and Thwomp. Anyone goes down, but Thwomp is in hand to trade up. Now it's four versus three. They can get this bomb down on towards the B-side. It's a bit of a misthrown panic. Smoke down towards long. Smurf gets another kill in towards mid, but it's traded up by Tacoma and Akama. It's a three versus two retake. But saying that, two of these teams are desperately low. Frodo T back in to pick up a two points of health each. Swamp is going to have to be the, the game piece here to make this work. And this misthrown smoke thrown by Frodo. Flame can just march through the edge of it. It does dissipate now, but now Papa's right shoulder is shown. Swamp needs to activate. He's going to have to be the... the the playmaker as he's taken out, and I think this is just too much for Frodo T-Baggins. Two points of health to take out two CTs who are now defusing the bomb. Takoma and Akama can just hold it. Frodo does swing out, but kills the, the guardian of the defuser. Takoma with an easy 3k, and puts the first buy round for the CT side on the board. Important round for CTs, that was their buy round. That was their first time having rifles in their hands, and they needed to win it. It was, a, it was a win by Defuse. It wasn't an easy round. It came down literally to a two versus one. Takoma in a camera. Fast headshot there towards Smurf to open things up. Smurf taken out. Papa will retrieve the AWP. Papa does get the trade kill back, and Swamp will actually get a kill on towards Blackbird, who's getting a little bit of entrance looking underneath. Karan, though, will get anyone, and there are kills exchanged all over this map. It's already down to a three versus three. Karan now repositions fast to take out Swamp on the underneath. That's huge information that the A water pass is clear, and as this smoke just starts to fade, Big Papa is locked in on the kill on towards the Komen Akaba. I don't know if you saw at the very start of the round, he was juggling flashbangs. You can actually obviously buy and hold four grenades, but you can buy that fifth grenade carry it with you, but Karant is in a huge, huge advanced position here underneath the bridge, and that's going to be Frodo T back into moved and the bomb spotted. Papa and Frodo, who were just looking to play off each other here, and now Papa's left in a one versus two. Karant 
Slip the tips. Goodness me, Papa. Lightning fast tonight. That's a few fast kills. But he's going to be running towards Flame. Oh no, this is where Flame. Oh, he, he turns around. Oh my goodness. Literally, Papa was walking straight in towards where Flame was. Posted up on towards his A side. It's going to be a fake flash robbed in towards A water as he now presses in towards his B site. And Flame, this bomb will go down. Flame isn't anywhere nearby to find some testers. Papa plants in for B main. The smoke off the left side of the obvious, but he is intending to play on the side of B main. And to be fair, where he's placed that smoke now for Flame is actually going to probably be quite of a hindrance for him as he peeks this corner. Papa can just wait for the noise. He's got a Molotov as well, but he ideally can just wait for the noise. Quick kills from Papa so far. Flame left, having to check all the angles. This bomb is planted so open. It could be in the underpass, and Flame wants to check the underpass. Papa is actually in from main. Slow checks it, but no one's there. He can throw the molly on now, but actually, Flame doesn't have a kit. There's no chance he's coming to defuse it. Nice third round there. Ushered it in by Big Papa for the friends. Kills exchange all over the map, and actually what we saw Karan do that round, Karan comes out for a big look here. He wants to confirm that B lane is clear. He actually kills anyone, and then rotates back round to kill Thwomp in the underpass here. But for Karan, who's obviously the B defender this half, he's doing a really good job of coming out and really confirming Alice Klar, which is German for all is clear here in towards B lane. And now it's going to be anyone tasked again with solo holding. Playing solo on towards the team is always quite a hard place to play. Now, standard exchange of utility again, and it's only going to be pistols and one M4 carried over for the friends on CT side. Papa holds the angle, and those CTs think twice about coming to pick him again. Here comes utility. Good utility posted up here. With that Molotov there, that means that they can push on up. Bomb flashes in, he wants to check this, and indeed if he comes, but oh my goodness, Blackbird's going to remove him. Karen's going to find anyone with a pair of dual Berettas. Braver is going to find Smurf, and pistols are going to work. Frodo and Papa managed to force their way in towards this B-site. Bit of panic, bit of miscommunication as they double smoke up the ruins. It's going to be a 2 versus 3 retake. Deagles and Dilberettas, that's all it's taken to just bring down this team so far. Papa, with an adventurous peak, is going to lose out to Flame. Grenade comes in, this may do huge damage. Frodo can survive a good flash here. But they know he's in here, they know that utilities come from there. It only takes one body shot from Draver, and that's going to be 3-2. That was one M4A1S and a load of pistols around it. Anyone pushed in from B main here, the dual Berettas were just positioned here and was able to just get this kill up close here. Womp moves in with the flashbang as well, but Blackbird here with the Deagle just picks up that kill. Smurf slowly moving in towards mid as well, and there was a Deagle hidden behind these doors as well. Pistols just in the right places in these close-up engagements. Absolutely winning and coming up a clutch. Now it's going to be a force round in here for the friends on T side. A load of submachine guns and one Galil. And there is a huge, huge fall by Karand again, as you can see, going for Alice Klar on towards B main. They know this bomb is now here towards A. It's an easy spray down for Flame as the T's march through the flames towards him. He's supported here by Traver, who can instantly step in to the triple trade spray down. Three to three is the score. Only losing one CT, they could be quite happy in the defense has evened things out there, even again since the first time since the beginning of this game. And now the friends will have to eco, and when you're wondering when you should be ecoing, definitely around a two loss bonus at least. You can eco on a one loss bonus if you've got about two and a half grand kind of ish already. You don't want to be ecoing with 1700, 1400 in your pocket on a one loss bonus. Karant, up close. Anyone will be leading the charge. And wow, that's a huge smoke trap for the Pyroda Baggins as well. He will be taken out though by Smurf. There is still one more CP here before the equation is solved. Papa misses three shots with an R8 revolver. Dravo's going to find Swamp. Tacoma Nakama is on hand from mid to remove Smurf. Again, only losing one CT. Only four surviving these two rounds. Three surviving the round before. Many, many man surviving, which means many, many money is building up. Look at this, 11 grand on Traver, 8 grand on Tacoma Nakame. The friends on T-side are going to have to win a little string of rounds if they're hoping to break this. Good flash in here for Tacoma. He goes for this peak, and it's going to be Big Papa who greets him on the far side of bridge. Anyone, though, ready for Karat this time. This aggression that CT's keep bringing out on B-Lane isn't going to be allowed. 
once more. Blackbird does manage to find one, but Smurf right at the edge of the smoke to come in a cap and take him down. Fernity back and actually managed to find Blackbird as well. It's already down for three versus two kills all over this map. That's the perk of fanning out and defaulting. Now it's going to be anyone and Frodo. This is going to be a heaven smoke. You walk until you reach the dark bit, just like this. Anyone asking Frodo to flash in. Bounces strangely off of the pillar, but they are going to be pushing in towards his A site nicely. It's going to actually be Smurf in mid again. His role is to cut off this rotate. Traver. Smurf holding this angle. That's so nicely done. Now down to a three versus one. Smurf, his whole job is to cut off that rotate, and anyone can trade up easily for Frodo. Whilst Flame was left on the B site. A site, even. Getting my mucking words fuddled and my sight's confused but Smurf does exactly the same thing again. Notice how he waited as well off the angle, kind of watching this really because the CT came out looking this way to see if anyone was going to watch him and Smurf just steps out and picks that fight. Again, Smurf not letting this be a route through for, for CT's really good stuff in here. Default again, we've got two T's mid, two T's towards A and anyone solo playing towards B. This is going to be their setup. A standard engagement again to contest for the bridge as the nades get tossed through. Good stuff in here by Smurf and Tapper. Again, just, just to contest, those CPs not letting them do anything. Karan wants to come for a peek at the leaf here. Frodo is going to be here to contest him. CTs don't really know what they're doing right now because they're found out they have no information and the T-side is still found out this is still defaulting. This is literally, but now to come in a camera. Ooh, it's going to be able to find Big Papa who comes adventurous through. First kill on the board here. Defensive side, Karand wants to come for a P. Frodo back into court, looking the other way, and this one might not be able to trade this. Oh, thank goodness he is able to trade it. That is so important, otherwise that would have gone down to a four versus two. Anyone marches past the bomb, and it's going to be Thwomp instructed to pick it up as they now liaise. And they come together, likely for a B hit by the looks of things. Three versus four, anyone asking for utility? Anyone the utility master? He's going to be IGL as well, this team. And he will be setting up these smokes. He'll be looking to smoke up long here and temple. And these will be perfect smokes. Look at where these CTs are placed. There's going to be the long smoke. There's going to be the temple smoke. In they come. Smoke lands long. Smoke lands temple. These CTs are behind these smokes. And now they wait as these three Ts descend in upon an empty bomb site. I'll probably checking the back platform. I don't think the three Ts can quite believe that this site is so quiet. It doesn't feel right. It comes to CT smokes, and now it's going to have to be a three versus four. They need to survive this retake. The fact they've got a bomb plan is absolutely huge. Smurf, he needs to activate one. Trave are removed. It's now down to three versus three. Smurf just holding in towards Temple. Flame is going to try and move his way in through much to leave to come in a camera. The better opera of the two is trading up. It's going to be Smurf finding it. It goes down to a two versus two. It's a game of wing managed to come in a camera. Find Smurf. Anyone's able to get one kill. It's now down to a one versus one. Taps the bomb. Anyone just steps a little bit out too far. And a quad kill for Tacoma and Akama. There's plenty of time to defuse this as it goes 5 to 4. With only 68 APR, I was going to say that was going to jump up to 105. But it felt like he had way more impact than that. Tacoma and Akama. He's not kill leader of the server. It is, it is Smurf doing big work right now. We know how good he is at holding and taking mid. Some good AWP shots there in that round. But it's the two AWPers of this team. Smurf, who's been holding this AWP most of the side for T side. And Tacoma and Akama. Holding the AWP for CT side. It's going to be a battle of the best. 5 to 4. It's a pistol round again for T side as they economize. Smurf and anyone. They want to go fast with Tech 9s. They really want to put some pressure on. They are going to be playing in front of all this stuff. And it's actually going to nuke anyone. It's a huge problem. And Traver literally can't switch from his AWP to his pistol fast enough. It's all going absolutely bits. Playing with a nice double spray down just to try and keep this crazy round from spiraling out of control. Papa's managed to salvage an M4A1X, an M4A4, apologies. After finding a kill with his CC and Blackbird, he knows he's underneath. He's going to be shot in the back of Karand. Karand, who is so aggressive. Again, he's our B anchor, and he just loves coming out for a wonder. This is why, as part of the default, like I said, we're playing 2B, we're playing 2A, um, 2 mid, sorry, 2 mid, 2A, and 1B. It's always essential to have that 1B to stop Karand doing this. Karand is obviously loving this adventure through B lane, and he can't be given this piece of map control. Because if the CTs get that map control, they can just confirm that the T side are only in here. They can only go mid and A. Standard exchange of utility again. Anyone behind this smoke is going to be taken out, wondering. With a blind spray. Drop a good kill. Nice clean and quick there on towards Karan. He's going to be putting pressure on towards his B side. The bomb is loitering outside of the main. 
Nerve. Nerve wants the support in here. Great grenade there on towards Treywell by Big Papa again, just watching the rear. Utility in now. This is going to be the BXQ. They want to be pushing in here. Blackbird is on towards his back angle. Smurf is going to be private safe. The bomb comes in. It's going to be dropped, but that bomb just managed to go down. Throw him back in. Maybe wants to come and trade. The Molotov is going to spread and find him as well. It all falls apart. This Papa left in a one versus four. He's going to push through the defensive smoke. He's going to find one, but that bomb is on the other side of his smoke. There's a gap at the edge of it. He can drop a Molotov here right towards Blackbird, but he's going to be taken out. It's always going to be extremely difficult with a one versus four. A three round lead, a small cushion for the enemies on CT side, and now it's going to be a buy round finally again here for T side, who just oh, no. four diffusers. Four diffusers. They are getting bombs down, but these post plants are just Ooh, getting the better of them. Tacoma Nakama holding mid, and it's going to be Papa presenting himself again. Man disadvantage, now it's going to be Frodo who needs to win this fight, and DT does. And he's Karan, he's going to be traded up by Trey Ware, he's traded up by Smurf, he's traded up by Tacoma Nakama. It's happening all too fast. The kill feed is populated quickly. Already down to a 2 versus 3. Now, Thwomp and anyone, they're split up outside this B bomb site. Thwomp can come in from underneath, and anyone can work into A main. B main, that's going to be a smoke that lands on towards the left side of the obelisk. It's going to allow them to swing on towards a back platform together. This is just where Blackbird is. This is where Blackbird has been a few times. Anyone spots him out. Oh no, and Swamp just gets killed on a random spray. Anyone just gives up that gunfight. Anyone pushes through the smoke and finds Blackbird, but Tacoma Nakama again in the right place at the right time. Another three kills delivered for him. This guy's having huge, huge impact. 115 ADR, 2.5 KD. He's not hitting headshots, but that's because he's got the big green. AWP, you just want to be aiming for the body. Center mass. It's going to be a force buy in here for the T side terrorists. Four rounds behind, and they're bringing in Galil's. Smurf will not be buying because he wants to save up for the AWP, or saving that he's actually AFK. The AK will be coming out. Flame, who's having this early contest with four CT. Smurf up here, up and towards Terran. He's going to be able to find that kill again, and he gets all the information. The B, Alice Klar, and now Flame. Through the fire and flames, it's going to be anyone leading the charge here for the friends on towards the side. Frodo will be taken out. Traver desperately trying to cling on towards his side. That's nice, clean triple kill there to deny the bomb plant and the Molotov spreads. And through the fire and flames, indeed, is going to be Big Papa with a big barbecue. Thanks. Big Papa spit roast. Hog roast. As he rotates through the flames. Nine to four, five round lead, five round deficit for friends on team side as they now bring out desperately Galil's AKs again. There's such little utility behind this with one smoke and a handful of flashbangs. Smoke. Karan wants to come for a look on towards B lane again. Smurf this time will not be allowing it. He fell for it last round, but he's not falling for it this time. Traver. This is great. Now, finally, T-Side managed to get a few kills. There's going to be the flash on towards it. This is going to be a push in towards this deep site. Huge presence being taken here. Great opener by Thwomp. Anyone is just losing health towards a Molotov. CT's gearing up for this retake already. It's going to be five versus three. There's going to be a lot of bad here. And, ooh, anyone with this back turned. Huge problems already, a huge overstep and a big mistake. It's now down to four versus three. Frodo could trade there on towards the and Akaba. It's going to be taken out by Traver. Two versus three. Flame finding another kill. This is going a little bit wrong. Smurf though in the opposite corner. Holding the crossfire. Flame's able to get the counter trade. It's going to be picked up a left in a one versus one. I don't think Flame reads him coming in on the re here. And indeed he doesn't. It's a shaky, shaky battle, but it's going to be nine to five. The CT side were the better team there. There's no doubt. The CT side were just winning those gunfights. Anyone was caught with his back out to start with here, just an easy kill. Frodo does get a good trade kill, but then actually moves out to then present himself to this kill here. And the, the CTs were way more surgical, but it was just a three versus five. There were just four men. Flashbang. Flashbang out. T side friends winning Flashbang. by quantity over quality in that retake. Last round of this first half. 
Ooh, Karan's. And he's going to get swamped as well. There's going to be no chance to trade up. Smith is going to be able to find his in the camera. Anyone again, solo just outside towards B main. He's going to be taken out as well. Karan, three kills. He wants to come exploring in towards B main like he always does. Papa and Smith here. Taking out. That's going to be Smith. Removed from the equation and an instant swing on towards Big Papa. There is the ace for the round. Look at those kills. The score is 10 to five, double the score for the enemy side on CTs, but look at those kills, 16, 15, and 14. Takoma Nakama being someone really troublesome. Karant being really, really adventurous and getting huge presence on towards B side. He's really, really strong that half, and now it's gonna be the friends with a lot to do here on CT half. The fan out the CT's opting for, two B, two mid, and one A. But this bomb is going to be going in towards Frodo Baggins. It's going to be him under pressure. In they come, led by the Dorberettas. Anyone holding towards the bridge? But the bomb's already slipped by. And, oh my goodness, Takoma Nakama, who tried to push through the mid smoke. Anyone stops any of that? But Trevor is going to be opening up with the Dorberettas on towards Smurf. It's going to have to be a bit of a retake. And Karen, there goes the bomb carrier. Bomb spotted Trevor. It's going to be able to find Frodo T. Baggins. It's now to three versus three. Thwomp is here to support anyone. Papa's already coming in through the back of A main. Ooh, and through the smoke is going to be flame dropped. This is super, super important. Grenade just chucked in. Lands right on the feet of Traver. It's down to a three versus one. The bomb hasn't even gone down. They're not going to make any money. And Papa moving in from the rear. It's ten to six. That was so important that the friends win that T, that CT pistol round. If they win the next, if they can convert this, then they've really got an opportunity of stringing some rounds together. Takoma Nakama just tried to walk through the bridge smoke, ends up getting himself clapped. Good awareness. Laying down smoke. It's an eco round. The T's just want AKs in their hands, and they're going to be doing an underpass play, and I'm not sure if Swamp and Papa are ready for this. The guys on the bridge in mid can't see this coming. I don't think they're ready for this. They try and spray down as much as they can. They manage to take three out with them, but that's two rifles. That's a M4A4. M4A1S, Swamp can go down. Good flash in. Slow on towards the rear, will be taken out. Comes the utility. Anyone's able to find one? There's only one left. Fast check on towards the left corner, and that is going to be the problem dealt with, and the M4A1S salvaged. Way more scary than it needed to be. That was literally just a block rush through underpass. Slight miscommunication. I think the twins, they were trying to set up a boost here on board Doblis, because that's see out towards B main, but I think what the mid guys didn't call was that they couldn't see. So basically, what the mid guys are throwing is a mid smoke. Um, but obviously, that means they can't see. They can't, you know, they didn't walk up to the doorway here and see these T's come marching in towards connector. So I think just a bit of learning there. The team needs to communicate from each other from mid to B. And B just need to factor in that the underpass is not going to always be safe. So Kevin the camera, coming towards mid, smurf, bodied off, flashed off, big problems. Anyone is here to support him, is the right for the support. Traver wants to come and have a little look here, smurf is on towards this angle. Huge pressure, it's a blitz screen, Stratus, they've just put three, four bodies in towards mid, and smurf's able to find a double kill, this bomb is down in towards mid. Anyone has been smoked off them towards the right hand side. Taking out is going to be Smurf. The trade kill attempt tries to come in, but Tacoma Nakama is doing as much as he can. He might push through the smoke with a scout on Frodo. It's not going to be the right weapon to stop a T who comes sailing through a smoke screen. And already now down to a 3 versus 2. The bomb can go down. Oh no, Blackbird here with a neg air up close. Swamp even jiggled it, but can only do 75. Be Big Papa left to retake in from A main. It's going to be a very, very difficult task. This might even be worth a save, and indeed it is. Papa's actually looking to save this up in carpet, which is this area here. It might actually get flame if flame is foolish and just goes wandering off or actually comes to move up towards carpet, but Papa won't be coming to defuse this bomb. It's going to be 11 to 7. The T's, I think, coming to the realization they need to exit out of the site. No one's going to be here. Papa is able to find what <laughs> flame's body goes flying. Seven eleven. So we slipped into round number 19. The friends still trailing by four rounds, but the money is dire. Want 1,400, Smurf 1,600. With only a one loss bonus, this is when you possibly need to look at forcing. Possibly look at need to forcing. A little flash of the desktop. Yeah, 
Karak, going to a fast kill on board Big Papa before the B-Main smoke and even blue. Swapping towards the underpass with his Mag 7. Smurf, though, is going to be working his way in towards B main. There's Kaplan towards the smoke. Karan taken out now. Ooh, and a nice spray on towards Flame there. Just before he can finish pushing him through that smoke, it's going to be Smurf with another one here. He just comes to life. Smoke. Remember, he was kill leader for this server. Weapons are plenty here on the floor as the four CTs converge on towards his drop from Traver and Tacoma Nakama. Anyone gifted the AK over towards Swamp. Again, still just organizing their arsenal behind this smoke screen. And now Traver looking to push in towards his site. Anyone spotted on the left hand side of the obelisk, but anyone is going to be able to find Traver. And now Smurf in. Four kills that round. Huge impact indeed. 22 kills. He remains kill leader as the gap closes. Counter terrorist timeout. That gives us 50 seconds to just breathe a minute. It will be interesting to see what T-Side do with their economy here. They've got seven, eight grand on one player. They can distribute some wealth as they save on a two-loss bonus. It's going to be all the pressure on the friends on CT side with not much armament behind this. They have got good utility. Anyone can certainly buy up a rifle or use Smurfs 3000 to get full utility armor and a M4 off him. And I imagine that's what will be the discussion Playing this map is not an easy one. Again, you're seeing how the CT side are holding it. They are playing Frodo Solo A with the intention of having two mid and two B. And the thing is, Counter-Strike, the age-old thing in maths is that two odds make an even and two evens make an even. But in Counter-Strike, it doesn't add up like that. There's an odd amount of lanes. There's B, mid, and A. That's three lanes. And there's five players, so two odds, but they don't make it even. You can't evenly hold two A two mid and two B. There's always going to be one weakness in towards the strategy somewhere. There's, you know, if you're playing two A, two B and one mid, the weakness is in mid. And this is the whole point of defaulting as a team side to find that weakness. At what point of a CT defense only playing perhaps one player and then you exploit it, get the kill and then you try and push in on it. That's the whole whole premise behind all of that kind of play style. And it's going to be a lot of presence here towards this A bomb site and it's going to be Frodo very brave to come to this push. Does he know there's five T's waiting on the other side of this. What's to come for this look? This is an eco here for the T side. They're just bought it in a little bit of that money. That seven grand was just distributed to bring out the scout. Frodo, good choice to move back in towards site though, but it's going to be dropped by Deagle. Smurf with a good grenade on the blind side. He's going to be taken out instant trade up there by anyone as they just try and stop this bomb from going down. Anyone just retreats back now. The bomb is going to have to go down. Anyone just has to wait for more CT, more CT reinforced. Enforcements to come in. The smoke does get thrown in. Thrown in. Boy, swap taken to desperately low situations. Molotov thrown in on towards the back. Anyone can find something out. It's going to be dropped out by those Dorberettas. There is still one more on towards Evan. Big Papa. He's got one above him. He manages to swing on the guy. Oh no, he's without bullets. He can't even switch to his pistol fast enough. It's going to be to come in a camera with 16 points of health. Swap on 17. He can just stick this. There's a Molotov down. He can flash in through behind that Molotov as well. But Form can't find the bomb. He can't find the bomb. That might be a round defining loss. There's not enough time. To come in a gamma isn't even going to come and challenge it either. That could be a round defining losing moment there. Papa, who runs out of bullets and can't even switch to his pistol fast enough to get that kill on Takoma Nakama, who's 16 points of health. One USP round for the kneecap would have done it. Swamp, if he'd just been a little closer to get the trade kill, would have done it. The Molotov flash combo, if he'd just got on that bomb, may have just been able to stick it like a champion. Come on, let's go. The round fumbled and slipped through their fingers. It's 12 to 8, and now they are having to force up all they can. Count their pennies. Traver through the smoke, he's gonna find Smurf. And already it's just crumbling, it's all going wrong. Five T's gather outside the team on site, this is gonna be the twins. Big Papa and Swamp under pressure. Anyone looking to be really aggressive up by the edge of this smoke? They want to boost over the smoke to see if anyone's on back platform. No one is on back platform. Oh, Swamp just instantly deleted there on towards the right hand side. Grenades come in, Papa is here with an over shotgun. Doesn't want to challenge anyone whilst the bomb is being planted. Flame able to just get the spray transfer as well. Anyone just wasn't quick enough there at getting the trade kill. Up a last alive. It's going to be 30 to 8. This game, I think, is one of those painful write-off situations. Ooh. Up was spotted out by Karant and dealt with. We'll have a Nova Koi. That's an OG skin. 
I don't think the CT side have got what it takes not to win this one. The kills just hugely outweighed on T side. So many more kills coming in, and even look at the distribution of MVP, the little magic stars. It's just not the same story on towards CT side. You've got Snurve doing it a shift, but it's not enough. Fast push in here from Smurve underneath. It's going to keep Trevor on his toes. Matisse is still putting some pressure in towards this A site. Flame will be finding Smurve in the end. Frodo wants to now come for a, a look out towards A main, but he will be dropped as well. That should open up a clear pathway in towards his A site. The other P's will come following. Karan's going to find anyone in the underpass. To Koma Nakama. Cutting off that road. So again, great angle. So if you have off towards the rear, does manage to fell to come in a camera that might just be one rifle that he can save. I'm gonna fix this bomb Bob's now. gonna go down, it's gonna be 14 to 8. Papa's only mission now is to save it. Karen's here, but Papa saved by the jump perhaps. Over the bullets of Karan. I think they're gonna go look for Papa here. They're already they've left the bomb. They've literally left the bomb ticking away on its own. Papa's ambition is just to try and save him towards T spawn. Traver's nervous. He goes back to watch the bomb. Too much is at stake to risk a ninja defuse from Papa, but no, Papa is going to be on the opposite side of the map saving. And at this point as well, I don't think they want to risk losing their AKs. Flame's only got 3,200, Blackbird 3,700, Traver. They haven't necessarily got the money to go running down one AK, losing one or two of these weapons. This is 14 to 8, one more round. Gives them match point. Friends on CT side, it's now or never. Now comes in the buy round. They've got the money that they can to buy in an AWP. Frodo's got the most money. I imagine he'll buy the AWP and give it over to Smurf for mid. And indeed, there it comes through. As Frodo goes back to his solitary confinement on the board A side. Traver, this is flashbang. Good smoke deployed here. And I think the T's are a little bit eager, eager to end this game. And they're just going to be taken out by the Twins. Supporting flashbang logged in by the T's just were not helpful there. Team flashes, no CT's have died yet. And a barrage of grenades come flying through the smoke screen. Flame has managed to find one, but it's two versus four. Four of these CT's have just converged on this drop bomb. It's going to be a difficult task now. Ooh, anyone just with a timing spray through that smoke is going to remove flame, and that has really sealed the deal. 14 to 9, this isn't a round where the T's are going to be placing match point on the board. Just through the bottom edge of this smoke, Papa can just hold it. Now, as that smoke fades, 14 to 9, T's, that was their error there completely. They were just a little bit overzealous. I know before that just as that smoke is blue, Karan has been able to just play at the edge of the smoke and find Big Papa very early into the round. I think they were looking to just try and get pace in again and beat this smoke and just get in really quickly, but Thwomp and Papa had set up all too fast. And with that crossfire across the site, we're just able to make that a kill box. Team's looking to go aggressive and fast again. Looking likely to bring this bomb towards A site. They just want to hit hard, hit fast. They want to end this game. Standard fan out again. It's going to be a standard contest through this bridge. Now it's a bit more of a default. Ooh, one caught the other way. That's going to be a man down. Untradeable as well from this spot as well. Anyone up close? Anyone able to find one from the smoke? He needs to be ready for Traver. Traver wants to come and get the trade kill, but that's going to be another one taken down. Traver just gets a little bit overzealous. Hungry for that trade kill. And now, when they have the man advantage at the start of the round, it's all kind of gone wrong. Now they are the ones that have been It's going to be a big pepper on the back platform. Is he ready for a second? He can't quite do it. Bob can go down. Three versus two. It's going to have to be a retake. Flame can push on up. Smurf. Nice kill in for towards right. Anyone who made just a little bit too much noise. It's now a two versus one. Frodo is slow in on this. He needs to support in Smurf. Frodo still really slow in behind. Moving through Treacle, it's going to have to be smooth to find that kill on towards Flame. I know what Frodo was going slow for, because anyone was killed here, and so there was the fear that Flame could go round and flank, but there was no way, because the bomb was planted here, it just wasn't in Flame's interest to go round the rear, because he wouldn't have even be able to see them or cover the bomb from over here anyway. 
And so Frodo just needed to come and join Smurf really, really quickly and come play that OBJ, that objective, that planted bomb. Smurf able to convert it on his 25th kill. He's aiming for that dirty 30 as he remains kill leader. Fast smoke in here again. On top in behind him this time. Ooh, Papa has been spotted with the jump smoke by Karen. Karen, who is just a beast sight mogul at this point. He's going to be swamping on his own as the utility descent in. He's going to be able to deal with Traver. At least one taken out with him. Blackbird comes in through the smoke in. Ah, swamps him to find two. That's absolutely huge impact. There are more steps on towards the fact he finds three. The fact he finds four, but it's going to be anyone here to steal that kill. Anyone who comes in is the backup man. If Swamp didn't get any kills there, if, if obviously pa Papa was, Karan basically jumped on this ledge up here and spotted Papa on the back platform and just shot him through the smoke. Swamp was in literally a one versus five at that point, with one T coming in under underpass, the other four moving in through the smoke. If, if Swamp didn't get those one, two, three kills that he got there to just delay that B push, I think that probably would have been the round loss. That would have been a three, five, three take situation. So Swamp, huge impact that round. Now he goes for a peek and towards underpass. Ooh, yeah, he's gonna find Scrimmon and Kama, and he's gonna be able to stop Draver from getting a trade kill as well. Two T's fell, and it's gonna look like it's gonna be 14 12. The gap's starting to disappear a bit. Bob wants to come for another look. He will finally be taken down. Incendiary. He's gonna be able to snaffle up this stolen m 4 one s There's a fake piece of utility over towards B, and he's gonna link up to go towards A. Karand is going to be challenging Frodo on towards Heaven Heaven. Flat Frodo needs to be so careful he's not caught with utility out at this point. Molotov thrown in. Karand will be free fire in Heaven. Ooh, just caught very slightly with a grenade. He's going to trade, exchange some damage. Good flash comes in. That's going to blind in Karand. Good flash over the wall there by Frodo. Now comes in the exchange of utility. Ooh, just nudged a little bit by his Smoke teammate. In. Smoke in. But with all that delaying tactics that Frodo's done, he's going to call in Smurf. Just over the top of the wall as well. That's another kill there for the Orper, and that's going to be Blackbird left on his own. The bomb is down on towards A site, and this round is done and dusted. Good stuff there from Frodo. Again, he's got the very hard task of playing solo. He's just solo heaven. He gets in the, the Molotov here. He throws a flash over the little half wall here. Blackbird is going to be able to find. There's 20 odd seconds left. It's actually not particularly comfortable. Good flash there from Papa. Yeah, and anyone can just swing off the back of that flash. That was really nice team play there between anyone and Papa. Regain control of that situation. They couldn't find the AWP, but that's fine. Smurf's got 8,000. Anyone's got nearly 8,000. They've got enough money that even if they lose this, they can actually buy in again. Frodo, yeah, the little flash in over the wall there actually blinds these T's on their on their way here. And all this delaying stuff here meant that one Frodo confirmed that there were people here and they just brought enough time for Smurf to get positioned here and find two kills with the AWP. So no problems. Smurf holding up. Flames holding on the other side. Look at this bridge and it's going to be Smurf coming out on top. Round number 27. The friends are starting to hit a rhythm. They've managed to chain together four rounds. Bomb loiters in towards B, B main. And this is a perfectly good call here. Three CTs waiting on towards this B bomb site, waiting to receive this hit from four Ts. Then comes another CT defensive smoke. Look at the timing on that smoke. They just dropped another one. And this is just going to keep all these Ts meandering around behind it. Okay, that's going to hurt Papa just a little bit, but now the bomb reroutes. Anyone just been spotted mid, but this bomb is going to reroute back in. Anyone again, volleyed off, smoked off. Anyone can't get any information at this point. Does the bomb now move under or does it go A? Decisions, decisions, and no, they need to go A. And anyone spurred, anyone will be IGL right now, and he's going to just be calling to move this defense three into towards to say bomb site. It's perfect timing, and it's going to be a perfect call. Frodo caught with a grenade, that's going to cost him so much HP. He's actually molotov himself off in towards heaven. Three CTs here. Smurf has got a feeling. The one's coming in from the back. Someone's going to try and cut off that rotate. To come in, a camera has been removed. Traver coming in. It's a missed shot left. Traver, that could be a huge issue. We managed to find Big Papa. Anyone's able to get the trade. Bomb can go down. Anyone. And Frodo managed to trade, swing each other. They swing at the exact same time. Three versus one. Smurf in with the Deagle. It can be defused. It's going to be 14 to 13. That defense. Yeah, the calling there was was just really nice spot on. At the point where 40s were outside B, they had three.
defenders here and they were ready to receive it. At the time then, when they go back and start to then play in through A main, there were three defenders here as well. So the defense just being really... They weren't caught looking at ghosts. They weren't stood for ages thinking, well, we did see them at B. No, they were very quick and just thought, no, we spied them mid. We saw them do some mid utility. I think that's them covering up that they're rotating around. Really nice, fluid defending there. Fast towards the A bomb site again. It's going to be anyone to find and drop the bomb carrier towards water. They should be able to get a huge read now. This is going to be the A bomb site. But Traver's moving in so, so fast. Frodo caught throwing that flashbang over the wall. Traver so quick in towards mid. Karen's here as well. And if they smoke this off, this is going to basically cut off the rotate opportunity. Smurf taken out. Papa is here as well. He doesn't manage to get that kill, but he cuts that smoke we were talking about. Three versus three. But this smoke is so good at delaying this opportunity to retake. The bomb is down. Anyone with Thwomper coming in through B main, there are two T's ready to receive it. Blackbird on such a nice angle here to watch this. Anyone slipping over towards the table, he's just been spotted. Blackbird lost a lot of HP in that exchange with anyone. Pushed in from the Molotov, Swamp can't get that kill on towards heaven. Anyone's there to able to trade up. They have Papa's able to get the kill, it's two versus one. They can try and get this bomb down, the 10 second time is only just gone. Papa's looking the wrong way though. Anyone, he may have been able to stick that. He may have been able to stick that, even though we got the kill, this is no time. No, I think he could have stuck that. The bomb, the bomb was not planted for him in that position at all. Anyone may have just been able to sit that 10 second time had already gone. It just wasn't worth coming out to get that kill. That retake just needed to come in just a second long. But like I said, that smoke in towards this connector here, which which stopped Papa from coming in. Because once Papa was able to come in, he of course got this kill here, got the kill on towards sight, and he was a huge playmaker in towards making that retake successful. But if he's been delayed by that smoke. You can just see the effect that utility has in 15 to 13. All hopes of winning this game are gone. Utility exchange again towards mid as normal. Oh, anyone though. Just to go aggressive. Just to this smoke. Huge risky position here up top. Huge error there by Takomi and Akama, who's been so reliable up to now. Flame's going to get a trade via a grenade. Versus four is a, another AK is picked up off the ground. The bomb is leaning towards A. They want to group up, but instead they're going to be picking up this bomb, scooping it up. Flame wants to come back over towards Karan, towards B. This is smoking towards mid. Oh, he spots the bomb carrier. Spying that bomb carrier may just be enough. Now they've seen the bomb, they know it's here. The cap is up close. Papa needs to activate, Papa needs to get this kill. Papa needs to get this. Swampers in towards the underpass. He needs this. This is going to shut down and do so, so much. He's raised to the Roy Peaks, man. That's absolutely huge. Four versus two. The bomb is still loitering in towards mid. Frodo can pick up that kill. Smurf finds flame in mid, and it's 15 to 14. We are playing for the draw. Kills all round. MVPs all round. And it all comes down to 30 rounds. We have expended all 30 rounds in regulation. And it's either going to be a bitter defeat. Smurf has hit his 31 frags. Deploying smoke shield. Now it's going to be the team's team. Card flashbang in towards under. Big Papa will be dropped. And it's going to be from here to receive some of this aggression in towards the underpass. He'll get one, but he's going to be instantly traded up. And now it's going to be Smurf. He's here to try and deal with what he can. Shot in from the side, he's going to be Traver again, finding the kills, and now it's down to anyone. Frodo Baggins, it's all too much. The Molotov comes in. Again, this delaying tactics, this is delaying utility. It's four versus two at this point. Great. And it's going to be Thwomp and anyone asked to push in. They both try and clear these angles. It's going to be Frodo to try and get this kill. Taken out, could be a trade swing death from anyone. Swift at the same time tries to win this gunfight on towards flame, but he can't do it. And it's a two versus four retake, foiled down the drain, and it's going to be 14 to 16. A heart breaking defeat. Those are the ones that are going to upset you. So many opportunities, I think, for the friends to just try and nip it in the bud, try and get one in front. It's been a good one to cast, and I will catch you as always next time.